In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up HiveOS on a USB. Let's get into it. The first thing that we need is the HiveOS image, which we can get from the HiveOn.com website. I have a referral link in the description. Once we pull up the website, we want to select the install option at the top of the screen and scroll down to the GPU section. Here, you can download by either torrent or zip. I'm going to select zip. I'm going to be given the option to save as, so we're going to save this to the desktop. Once the Hive OS image has completely downloaded, you're going to go to where the file is at and you are going to unzip it. If you do not have a program to unzip files, I'm going to include a link to WinRAR in the description below. Extract the file. Okay. Once the file has been completely extracted, we're going to have a new folder on the desktop. Double click that folder and inside you're going to see the image that we need to flash to the USB. Next, we need to download a program that will write the HiveOS image to our USB. The program that we're gonna be using is Bellina Etcher. The link is in the description. Once you get to the website, choose your operating system and then click download. At this point, we are gonna insert our USB that we are gonna be flashing HiveOS to. After inserting the USB, locate it, right click, just do a quick format, start. After the format is complete, we are ready to flash from file. Select flash from file. We're gonna locate where the Hive OS image is at. Select it. And now we are ready to select the target. This is where the image is going to be written to. We want to make sure that we select the USB and not another important drive because this is going to completely erase that drive and put the Hive OS image. So select target. We're going to see our USB right here. If you need to show other files, you can do that, but it will give you some sort of warning. Select the USB, select and flash. If you need to select yes from a pop-out box, go ahead and do so. And now the image is gonna be written to the USB. Once the flash is complete, the USB box should pop up. However, if it doesn't, what you can do is you can simply come down to your disk management by going to your Windows Start icon, right-clicking, going to Disk Management, scroll up to Action, and then you can refresh your drives and it should pop up. If that doesn't work, you can unplug the USB for a few seconds and plug it back in and that should fix the issue with it not showing up. Once we verify that our Hive USB that we created is showing up in Windows, we need to then go to our Hive OS account. Once in our Hive OS account, click on your farm, Come up to the top right, click the plus, add worker. And now we're gonna select add rig. You could add an ASIC if you have one, but we're adding a rig. Click it. Now, what we're gonna do is we've already flashed the USB, so we're gonna select the connect existing box. What we're gonna do is look all the way over to the right to settings. And in settings, this is gonna give us a lot of sensitive information, so you definitely wanna make sure that you do not share this information. One setting that you can change is the name of the rig, as I've done here. That helps you identify the rig for the future in which if you ever have any issues with miners, you know which one to check out versus having to go through the process of finding which one is having the issue. After changing the miner name, one other setting I would recommend changing is the password. Once we are satisfied with our changes, we're gonna come up next to our rig ID and we will see a rig.conf link that we can click. By clicking this, 
we will download the rig.conf file. After the rig.conf file downloads, we then will open our USB that has our high flashed image and we want to drag and drop the rig.conf file into the folder as I've shown you here. Our Hive USB is now complete. We will simply close the box, unplug the USB, and then plug it into the PC or the rig that we want to use. If you're plugging this Hive USB into a PC or rig that has more than one drive, you may need to change the boot order. In order to do this, restart your PC and you will see an option to press either the delete key or another key to get into your BIOS. For me, it was tap and delete. Once you get into your BIOS, you're gonna to go to your boot order. In mine, I go to advanced, boot, and here you can change the order in which the uh, SSDs and, and thumb drives will boot. So right now it's selected to Windows Boot Manager. So I do the drop down box and I select my USB. I'm also going to go ahead and select partition three and leave Boot Manager as last. So if it can't boot to either one of those, it's going to automatically boot into Windows. Once you've selected your changes, click exit, save changes and reset and OK. Now what's gonna happen is the PC is gonna boot down and it's gonna boot back up using the Hive OS USB that we created. And then we will be in Hive. And there we are, Hive is coming up. And once Hive logs in, it's gonna go through all of the settings that we put in earlier. Once the rig is up and running, we can then go back to our Hive OS account in another PC, and then we can create a flight sheet and do other kinds of manipulations to our rig. Once you log into your Hive OS account on a web page, you can see that your worker is online. Click into your farm, and there it is. What we need to do now is we need to create a wallet and a flight sheet. So we'll start by creating a wallet. So I'm gonna scroll up, select wallet, and then I'm gonna add a wallet. The very first thing we need to do is what kind of wallet do we want to create? What type of coin do we wanna mine? I'm gonna select Flux. I have gone to my Zelle Core wallet and I have copied my receive address for Flux. I'm gonna paste it in. And now I need to enter a wallet name. This helps you differentiate if you have a bunch of coins that you wanna mine and you wanna switch back and forth. So we will simply name this Flux. And then you can hit create. And now we have a wallet. Our next step is to create a flight sheet. So come up, select flight sheet. It's gonna let us know that we need to create a wallet first. We just created a Flux wallet. Click add flight sheet. The first box is just going to walk us through step by step. For the coin that we're going to mine, we need to have a wallet for it. We put in a flux wallet, so we're going to mine a flux coin. Next, it's going to have us select our wallet. If we had multiple wallets for multiple coins, that would show up here and we would select it. Flux is what we want. Now our pool. There are many different pools that we can mine to. We've got a website that you can go to Minor pool stats, I'll have the link in the description below, but you can come here and look at the many different pools that you can mine to. Once you've selected whichever pool that you wanna to mine to, go back to your pool section, simply choose a pool, and then it's gonna let you know what pool server uh, do you wanna select. And usually you wanna select the one that's closest to you. I'm in the USA, but the only one available on two miners is EU. In this situation, just select the one that's available and hit apply. The last box is gonna have us select which miner. Next to the miner, it's gonna have, is this for an NVIDIA GPU or an AMD GPU and which one that the miner support. 
I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm just gonna make sure that's the, the miner that I select. I'm just gonna choose LOL miner, and then underneath that, it's gonna let us name our flight sheet. I can simply name it whatever I want, flux to miners. And then lastly, create flight sheet. And now we have a flight sheet. Now that we have created a wallet and a flight sheet, we are ready to send that flight sheet to our miner. So scroll up in the drop down, select the rig. Once you select the rig, you're going to see that there's an option for a flight sheet, select flight sheet. And then you will see the one flight sheet we just created. You'll see the little rocket. Click that to send it to the miner. It's going to take it a few minutes for it to update. And then we can check the status of it. After about 10 minutes or so, you can come back into your miner and see that everything's updated. You can always come up to the left, click the Hive OS, then it brings you back to the start. Go into your farm and you can see your miner. There are gonna be some icons and notifications that you can hover over and it'll let you know what's going on, how much you're mining, your souls, your, your hash rate, but a thing that you can do that's really uh, nice about Hive OS is that you can overclock the GPU with presetting, with preset overclocks. So what you do is you come up to select worker, select your rig, and then you'll find your GPU as well as your temperatures. So come over to your overclock. Then you'll, uh, you can go through and manually enter this information, or you can select from popular presets. Sometimes these are off, sometimes they're pretty good. So for this, the way this works, just come into the popular preset, select the coin, and then it's gonna have a list of presets that you can choose between. Let's just say we wanna select this one. You select this one, and one thing that I like to do with my mining is I put my fans at 100%. That's how I mine. But you can put whatever it is that you want. Once you've done that, you are now mining. One last thing to go over with HiveOS is the cost to run HiveOS. No matter what, one worker is always free. If you happen to mine to the Hive on pools, then sometimes it can be free or at a huge discount. Again, you can come over to the pricing page and see exactly what it is that fits within what your farm is or what you're looking for. That's how we set up Hive OS on a USB. Hopefully you will learn to really use all the features that Hive OS offers, as well as take advantage of the many features and the mobile app that they have so that you can always keep up with your farm regardless where you are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one.